Howdy guys, this is Nick from Stridewise.com with... Tim Steiner from Hemingway Jones. Tim Steiner is a buddy of mine. He's a writer for the website Stridewise.com. He's written lots of really, really good reviews of some really legit stuff. Tim has been wearing in his Thursday cowboy boots for some time now, the Desperados. Now these came out somewhat recently and I haven't had a chance to wear them in myself. So I thought, why not get this chainsawing, filson clad countryman to uh, tell us his thoughts on the Desperado boots. What do you reckon? Happy to take over. All right, cool. Ready to do it. All right, are you, uh, you good? You good in your own? You take this? I, I think I can handle it, thank right. you. I've lived on the East Coast my entire life, yet there's always been a part of me that wants to buy a pickup truck and head out west. When I heard that the Thursday Boot Company was releasing a line of cowboy boots, I was excited and thought that it only made sense. Thursday boots are always made with an enormous respect for heritage and have features and details usually found in much more expensive offerings. For me, the ultimate expression of a cowboy boot is a working boot, something less flashy with a lower heel for better balance, yet still high enough to give you protection. It should just be a bonus if you can then clean them up and then wear them out. Let's get down to brass tacks because this boot actually has brass tacks. These are fairly traditional cowboy boots with a 13 inch shaft, a stovepipe profile, and a sensible heel. They are boldly stitched with a very large fleur-de-lis that can be discreetly hidden beneath your jeans or trousers. A bonus here is that the shaft isn't so voluminous that I couldn't wear them with ordinary jeans. Skinny jeans will be tougher, but they don't require flaring boot cut jeans. It is certainly easy enough to pair them with some straight leg jeans and a Western flannel shirt and a canvas jacket like the ones from Filson, like I have on, or Huckberry, or maybe one of Thursday's own wax jackets that they just started selling. My Desperados came in Arizona Adobe in their rugged and resilient leather. This is a good leather to showcase because it's the same as Thursday's most popular boot, which is the Captain in Arizona Adobe. It's either that leather or black matte, which the Desperado also comes in, along with tobacco and Old Town full grain leather. All the leathers, except Old Town, are rugged and resilient. And this leather looks amazing as it ages, adapting to your feet and wear patterns and forming light and dark patterns as the oils and greases move around the leather. It's a good leather, made by the extremely sustainable Lafarc Tannery that Stridewise has visited before, and caring for it is quite simple because the leather is so oily that they don't recommend any conditioning creams at all. Just use a shoe brush to remove dirt regularly, and if they need a more proper cleaning, they suggest using Cobbler's Choice Leather Cleaner and a clean cloth. One of the most important things to me in a pair of boots is the romance and the heritage. I like a good story that comes with the boots, but I want a story that's backed up in the details. In this case, these boots are made in Leon, Guanajuato. Leon is known as the leather and boot capital of the Americas and has nurtured a vibrant industry of master cobblers and boot makers. I know that leather is more traditional and many say more comfortable, but living in New England, I appreciate a strong rubber outsole as I crunch rock salt into smaller pieces on my driveway. I find these bottoms to be stable and much grippier than the leather bottoms that are designed to breathe well in southwestern heat, but can feel like walking on an ice skating rink before they get sufficiently scuffed. I also love the brass tacks. They glitter like gold embellishments in the light and hold the whole piece together with some style and a reverent nod to tradition. These boots also have a 270 degree Goodyear welt construction that will help keep the rain out and allow them to be resold multiple times. They are also lined with smooth, soft glove leather that I appreciate the ease of sliding in and out of. So there's no abrasion or uncomfortable fold that's pressing against you when you're wearing them. That said, a leather lined boot doesn't always breathe quite as well as an unlined and same goes for the usage of rubber soles. Again though, I prefer this construction, but if you're walking in the Nevada desert, it might give you some pause. A big differentiator from traditional cowboy boots is the permanent but comfortable cushioning 
Poron antimicrobial shock absorbing insole, which offers a nice bounce and comfort beneath my toes. It's not a leather footbed, but there's cork beneath it to help your boot conform to your foot with time, the way traditionally made boots do. Underneath the insole is, surprisingly, two shanks, a steel shank and a composite shank underneath it for additional rigidity and stability. Thursday told Rose Anvil that the extra composite shank, while it does offer more stability, is largely aesthetic. It gives the boot that little bulge at the bottom that reminds me of a transmission bump on an old car. Moving down to the heel, the Desperado features a full leather heel stack, which is often lacking from much more expensive boots. This is more of a traditional method of boot making and is surprising to see in a boot at this price point. At the time of recording, these boots were $235. My first thought was that they were made in Asia, but no, Mexico, one of my favorite places for boot making. My favorite cowboy boots, my Chisos, which cost over $500, came from there. There's no reason to denigrate Mexican-made boots. You can get some of the best boots in the world there. As impressive as the rugged and resilient leather is, so too the glove leather lining is soft, supple, and frankly surprising that it's even there. Combine this with the Goodyear Welt, full leather heel stack, brass tacks, hand-stitched embellishments. How are they pulling this off? If you like the fit of Thursday boots, I'm told that these fit like those and you should be fine and happy. However, I have wide feet and I usually wear a 10E. The Desperados do not currently come in wide and when I am confronted with this, I order a bit larger and assume that I'll pick up a bit of width in the process. But even at 10 and a half D, I found them too narrow and I know that an 11 would be a bit too large for my feet. And again, I'm just talking as a guy with wide feet, so if you have normal feet, you'll be fine. In conclusion, these are absolutely brilliant boots of solid construction and with so many amazing features at an almost unbelievable price. Brass tacks, full leather stack, comfortable insoles, great leather, Goodyear welt. If you are comfortable with the regular sizing of Thursday, then these boots are for you. I am tempted to say that they would make a great first pair of cowboy boots, but the truth is these are perfect for anyone who appreciates a great boot made by craftsmen in an area known for producing boots for generations, as long as you have average width feet. These boots are made for country oh, I'm just honored. <laughs> Certified accountant. That's right. I just, I actually turned down 10 loans wearing these boots. <laughs>